In this video, we'll use the trim and extend commands. Now, you need to know that for shapes to interact with each other, they have to be on the same work plane. So, that first click, click on the grid, specifies the work plane. Then you specify the circle center and its perimeter. Since these last two circles only asked for the center and perimeter, they're all on the same plane. Sketches will not interact if they're not on the same plane. Now, here I'm going to draw a polyline and I want it on the same plane as the circles. So my first click needs to be on a circle, then I will click its endpoints and that puts it on the same plane. If your first click is not on the circles, then the line will be on a different plane, although it won't look like it. So since these are all on the same plane, they'll interact with each other. If I click on Trim and run the mouse over the circles, the red shows the lines that I can eliminate. I'm just hitting the Delete key here. And now, if I click Extend, I click on what I want to extend to, and then click on the lines, or just run the mouse over the lines, and they extend.